Human scabies is an extremely paritic skin infestation caused by the scabies mite, scientifically known as Sarcoptes scabiae hominis. It is a common condition worldwide that affects individuals of all age groups. However, the disease is more prevalent among children and sexually active individuals. In this video, our primary goal is to explore the various treatment methods available for scabies infestation. If you are looking for a more comprehensive lecture on this topic, please watch my previous video on scabies, where I discussed its etiology, types, pathogenesis, signs and symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. For the convenience of our discussion, let's quickly recall the two main types of human scabies. In classic scabies, which is the most common type, only about 10 to 15 mites live in the host. During the first month of the infection, only a little evidence of infection exists. However, in the subsequent weeks, a delayed type of hypersensitivity reaction occurs against the mites, eggs, and their fecal matter, which gives rise to intense itching associated with scabies. In the other type, crusted scabies, also known as Norwegian scabies, millions of scabies mites live in the host. It is highly contagious and associated with significant morbidity. The treatment of scabies is with topical or systemic scabicidal agents. Antimicrobial therapy may also be required as patients with scabies tend to develop secondary bacterial infections. Commonly used agents include permethrin cream, oral ivermectin, or lindane cream. These agents are very effective in the treatment of scabies. For secondary bacterial infections, oral or topical antibiotic preparations can be administered. Severe itching associated with scabies is treated with antihistamines such as hydroxyzine hydrochloride, diphenhydramine hydrochloride, or cyproheptadine hydrochloride. In rare occasions, the extensive inflammatory response may be suppressed with oral prednisolone or dexamethasone. Patients with crusted scabies should be instructed to remove excess scales to allow better penetration of the scabicidal agent. This process can be facilitated by applying warm water soaks, followed by application of a keratolytic agent, such as 5% salicylic acid. Unlike in classic scabies, patients with crusted scabies may require repeated applications of topical scabicides for a long time due to heavy mite burden. In addition, simultaneous use of topical agents with oral ivermectin yields relatively better results. Finally, it is important to advise the patient and family members regarding preventive methods to reduce the risk of reinfestation of scabies. All household members and close personal contacts older than two months and not pregnant should be treated for scabies, even if they have no symptoms or signs of infestation. Patients should be advised to wash clothing, bed linens, and towels in hot water and dry them in bright sunlight. Other non-washable equipments should also be disinfected appropriately. All carpets and upholstered furniture should be vacuumed and the vacuum bags immediately discarded. 